that kind of nerd. Let's start the show with comics, movies, and technology. Here we go, bringing you the segments that you're looking for, like Cape Talk, Screen to Stream, Tech Perspective, and more. Cast this nerd degree and the blockbuster. Welcome to the club, cause you're that kind of Welcome, everyone, to That Kind of Nerds Podcast, a weekly show that tells you what is going on in the nerdy world. I am CJ Mellon, joined by Joshua Burns and Brian Thornton. What up? Huh? Squirrel? Uh, I was looking at something. Sup? 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 You said you're looking at something. Are, are you not sitting in the same room that you sit in for like eight hours a day? What left? What is there left oh, to stare oh, at? Oh, my good sir. Oh, yeah? It's like nine or sometimes nine and a half, depending yeah. on the day. Um, but I, I, I mostly stare at my computer screen for those hours. I don't look at certain things in my room. I figured it out. Oh, my God. I just Hold on. I figured out why you sound weird. Your microphone is not you're not pointing your microphone at your mouth. Is that better? Oh, my God. Yes. All last week. I'm like, why is he sound so weird? You were talking to the side of your microphone where there's nothing there. You're nothing there. It's, uh, do you not hear the difference? Of course I hear the difference, oh but God. I'm not going to allow you the satisfaction. <gasps> so I hear no difference. I was like, I wonder if his cable's going. Maybe his microphone. Maybe it's me. Am I mixing it wrong? No. It's you. Hi, Josh. <laughs> Hi, Brian. <laughs> the Bernstein's are reunited. All right. The Bernstein's. Quarantining uh, together but apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's about right. Uh, listen, uh, as we've been doing for the past couple of weeks, we're going to do things just a little bit differently than we normally do. So we're kind of ditching the the usual segments for this week. Just kind of having a conversation a little bit about you know what we're watching during quarantine, what we're doing, things that we're excited for, random topics that we find around the Internet. Uh, I am curious to hear what you guys are uh, watching, because I know that... Uh, the three of us, plus uh, the one and the only Laura Burns, uh, got into a little group chat conversation, which we have now just dubbed uh, Tiger King and other things. Uh, I know, Josh, you, you probably haven't watched the series. Uh, Brian, we just haven't acknowledged it on, on the show yet. I, I thought this was an incredible uh, you know, series that Netflix put together. I haven't watched this new episode with Joel McHale. I haven't heard good things about it. Uh, I didn't know I, if you had I any thoughts or anything that you wanted to, to share. Yeah, they did like a like a wrap up, a recap, kind of like hey thing. Oh, that's weird. I don't, I don't see any reason why they had to do that. It's a goddamn Carol Baskin. That's why. Mm, that Carol Baskin. Hey she uh, kittens. She totally murdered. She totally murdered her, husband. Totally murdered her husband. Yep, I'm with you. So, Josh, just just so you know, if uh, Laura ever asks you to go to the store to get sardine oil, be very worried. She's not cooking you something great. She's getting you ready for dinner. I'm not so uh, sure. I don't care about any of this. The only reason I haven't left that group chat is that I'm not leaving you two alone with my wife. My (laughs) wife. That's a. I don't know what you had to be worried about. It is the two of us. No, that should clearly be worried about things. Um. I would say it was an amazing show oh, or excellent. That. Whatever adjective you used, I feel like it was a little too strong. It's a, it's a good show. It's amusing. People, those people are crazy. That and they're crazy. worse than the mafia or on the same level of the mafia. They're the mafia with tigers. Yeah. I don't know which is better or worse, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was interesting. Yeah, it was like, what if the redneck, what, what if we made a redneck mafia, but it was all focused around tigers? I'm like, okay, yeah. I uh, think I saw a meme somewhere. It was like, you know, you know, you're crazy when the, 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 uh, the sanest person on your show is the ex drug lord. Yeah. Cause that guy was the most put together guy out of all of them. Out of all. The of rest them. of them are just. The, the wow. thing the thing that I really liked uh, about the show was uh, after every episode, right, you, you start with an idea of one person and right at the very end, they're just like, oh, so, you know, that lady that you thought was just like a, a really good tiger rescue lady who actually was legitimate. And, you know, this other guy's crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, she's fucking crazy. And she murdered her husband. OK, bye. See you on the next episode. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Episode three. But it, he's it no ended, spring chicken either. He but that's the thing. It did ended a lot with, of shady shit. Exactly. It ended with shit. liking none of these people. None of these. None of yeah. them are good people. None of them. They're fucking awful human beings. 
But the way in which the story is told, for, in my opinion, kind of kept me gripped going episode to episode, pulling, you know, just making me want to oh, go. Oh, yeah. The next it one. definitely was like, I need to watch the rest of this. Yeah. Which is if, hard to, for, I, for nothing else than to figure out where I need to put $2,000 to get a tiger. <laughs> to get a tiger, right? How can like, I do that? How can I go about doing that's this? Because it. apparently you, that's how much it costs. Uh, the memes across the internet ha- are, are hilarious for it. Uh, I just, I, we just never acknowledged it. I thought it was a really good show, and I realized that Josh will never, ever, 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 ever watch it. Uh, so that does turn me to Josh. Josh, what are you, what are you watching? What, what's keeping you through this, this quarantine right now? Um, man, I'm watching a lot of different stuff. I spend a lot of time going, I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> um, I started Breaking Bad again. Oh, all right. Um, I watched three seasons of The Wire. <laughs> um, and then I didn't want to watch that anymore. Um, you're picking really heavy shows. Trying to Breaking Bad. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's heavy. I didn't. It, this doesn't feel that heavy to me. I watched uh, Endgame. Well, Infinity War and Endgame. I watched a bunch of Marvel stuff, actually, not just those two. Um, I got Christian to watch Casino Royale. Oh, yeah? Uh, that was cool. How did that go over? Uh, well, I mean, he he liked it. I, I think he was expecting more action. I mean, Casino Royale wasn't necessarily action-packed. Um, you know, we're sitting there. It was like the next day, and he's like, hey, would you play in that poker game? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, absolutely. He's like, oh, you, you think you could play in that game? Like, they aren't all that great. They had good cards. Like, that's not <laughs> even that hard. It's right. just I'd play with somebody else's money in that game, sure. Like, if I were in James Bond's position with other people giving me money, fuck yeah, I'd play in that game. <laughs> right, it's not your money. So it's not my, yeah, it's not my money. Who gives a shit? Um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but y- there's, there's really nothing. Like, I, I watched Jack Ryan season two again. Oh, I need to do that. You know, it, it's honestly, guys, it's a, it's a lot of like just background noise. There's nothing that like I'm I'm super, super excited to sit down and watch. Um, hmm. No, I'm 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 reading um, Jack Reacher's the um, Lee, whatever his name is, Lee Child, the second Jack Reacher novel right now. And I have the third one or I'm reading the third one and I have the next two coming, whatever. So, you know. That's, uh, you know, there's a lot of like synergizing and working remotely and not really doing a whole lot of I, I cook dinner every night. I make sure I do that. Like, there we go. We eat as a family and I'm making something relatively different frequently out of like the same fucking 10 ingredients. You know what I mean? Right. Is this weird? This whole thing's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You got to figure out how to get creative, which is uh, so Jenny and I are watching uh, The Works Cooks in America. Uh, I actually yeah, know so- Zoe loves that show. I was actually, I actually know someone who was on the third season. Really? Uh, and uh, he was just like, you should probably watch it. It's like, all right. So I just watched it. And we're just it's just one of those shows. Now you get kind of sucked into it. You mm-hmm. just kind of go see the season. It's not a particularly fantastic or, or, or great show. Uh, but it does go, oh, we kind of have some of those ingredients just like here in the house. Like we don't have to rely on like the same five freaking dishes over and over again. We can we put a little variety into there. Right. Uh, so it's it's just one of those like easy again, just you said background noise, not really invested in it uh, kind of TV shows. What about you, Brian? I know you have the a watch list longer than Santa Claus is not a nice list. So, you know, h- how far into that are you getting? Uh, none. Uh, the the answer is zero. I haven't watched anything on the list. The thing about the list is that not not most of those shows don't appeal to my wife, and I, I, I we're watching things together. So, uh, we've been doing a uh, we've been doing a horror movie binge. We watched Shutter Island. We watched the others. We watched um, The Conjuring. Um, we watched Hereditary last night. Damn. Uh, watched both it movies um so started off by doing most of those we watched a very terrible reality show series on netflix called called uh love is blind that oh, was oh no terrible that sounds awful it was it was one of those train wrecks that like i just had to keep watching because it was so bad right I um, mean, you don't believe that those people are real, and they're not because it's a reality show and it's not real. Um, 
what else did we watch? We watched uh we watched Tiger King. We watched um she has started watching Gilmore Girls, so I'll Whoa. sometimes be in the room when, talking very when fast. that's on. Talking very fast. Um so I've I've caught like two or three episodes of that, but she mostly waits until I go to bed to watch that. Oh, wow. Um we watched the newest Trolls movie. We watched The Invisible Man. Mm-hmm. We watched um Man, I gotta look through my freaking Watch movie. Little Women. She watched Little Women. I did not. I have no desire to see that movie because Little Women um does just does not appeal to me. Um what else did we watch? Did you get a we chance to check Bloodshot. out? Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. We watched Onward. Did you guys see Onward? Yes. Onward? Oh, so good. I have it. I have not watched it. It was so good. Uh we watched uh Tombstone because she's never seen it. Gotta watch Tombstone. Uh watched the third Jumanji. We watched Knives Out. Um, we've been watching a lot of third, movies. Third, we've been watching a lot of third movies. Third Jumanji. So yeah, the first Jumanji with Robin Williams. Oh, right. And then the other two. Yeah, we've been watching mostly movies. I, I haven't gotten uh, her. We're trying to find a TV show. Well, I'm trying to find a TV show. I keep trying to get her to watch Chuck. So I'm, I'm slowly kind of chipping at the wall to to eventually watch it because I think she'll really enjoy it. She ever Um, worked retail? If she ever worked retail, she'd be a slam dunk. She hasn't worked retail, but she was a server, so. Uh, It's not the same. Uh, Jojo Rabbit, we watched that, too. Good movie. During this this lockdown. Um, I don't remember if Uncut Gems was before or after. It was before. It might have been before. Yeah. Um, But yeah, we've been watching a lot, a lot of movies. Um, And we've been watching a decent amount of horror movies. Oh, we also watched, we started watching, we haven't finished it yet. Uh, cause I was getting tired and we started late. We started watching Blade Runner cause she has never seen Blade Runner either. Oh, um, so what do you, what is that? Oh, is that I, judgmental? I, uh, What's that, going on? No, no, no. I, I don't know if that's a movie that if you haven't watched by the time you're 30, you enjoy after that. Like it, it's a very, I don't know. It's if a divisive she, movie. She started watching Nurse Jackie too, by the way. Um, wait, how did Blade Runner go? Or you just kind of, I, I, we haven't finished it yet. Oh, okay. I, I was wait. You didn't finish in one sitting, Blade Runner. I don't feel that it's a movie that sits with you very well. We were we were both tired, and she wasn't really paying attention. I'm like, well, you really need to pay attention yeah. to this movie. So we we gave up on it, and we're gonna restart it again probably this weekend. Hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just been mostly movies. Okay. So it's been going well. Oh, and um, we're continuing to watch Crazy Ex Girlfriend here and there. Um, just because we we started that way way far ago, we just haven't finished it yet. But yeah, the other thing <laughs> was that what enough? Is, is that, that enough? That was enough. Yeah. I mean, uh, we've been in, indoors for like o- almost a month, so I think we've watched a decent amount of stuff. <laughs> One of the things that has been very interesting with this period is knowing that, like for for instance, we can't do a blockbuster. We can't really nail down when movies are going to be returning to theaters. We don't know when theaters are going to re- open up. We don't even know if AMC is going to open up. Uh, they're working really hard on it. I just read an article two hours ago that says, eh, they're, they're probably going to be open around Thanksgiving. Um, I'm going to keep giving them my money for A-list in hopes that, you know, they'll use that well, to continue I, to stay. I, I had the worst luck. I bought their annual popcorn bucket the week before they shut down all the theaters. <laughs> <laughs> So, and the worst part was we went into it because the AMC that we all go to doesn't have it. So I had to go to a different AMC to get the bucket. So I didn't even get popcorn in it. I didn't even see a movie. I just went in and said, I would like the bucket, please. Like it comes with popcorn. I'm like, I'm going back to the car. I don't even need the popcorn. Just give me the bucket. So I got zero use out of it so far, but I have the annual bucket sitting on top of my fridge. Yeah, but Josh, you came across a trailer for uh, a Tom Hardy movie where he's playing Capone. Uh, which is, I, I, from my, my understanding, I'm supposed to go to, to VOD. Uh, when, when yeah, it's it VOD out. on May 12th. Um, yeah, like it's, it says Capone, but like it has an alternate title called like Fonzo or something. I don't know. It's Josh Trank. Take that for, for whatever you will. Um, it, it's, it, it looks weird. It looks weird. I don't yeah. really, I don't really know what more to say about it. I mean, I wouldn't say that Capone story has been like really given a, a a good telling. I mean, I know he was a minor character on like Boardwalk Empire, and I know there's been a couple 
Dude, I don't think we know anything actually about Al Capone. I really don't. Except really he had don't. syphilis and went and you know kind of stupid like at the end of his life, like it ate away at his brain. But uh, you went down a little IMDb rabbit hole when it came to to Tom Hardy, and uh, apparently he's playing multiple Capone. Role. What the, what what was Christian? Going on? All right, first of all, Christian's two rooms away, and just text me Capone's full name is Alfonso Capone. I, I I'm not. I I understand that's why <laughs> <laughs> He keeps texting me that's he why He is that. his father's son that's yep. some shit you One, would right. do 100% One hundred percent. yeah so <laughs> what I found when I looked because I, you know I started looking <laughs> so at good. upcoming projects uh Tom Hardy's <clears throat> got a boatload of upcoming projects a couple yep. very exciting ones but what I saw for when I saw I saw Capone, and then he's in another movie called Cicero, and I'm like, well, that's that's got to be another Chicago gangster movie, right? Right. And I looked it up, and he's playing Al Capone, and I'm like, <laughs> how can he be okay? He will always play Al Capone for every movie moving forward. Clear, look, and if if anybody is kind of like, I don't, I don't know about you know Tom Hardy, uh, watch Legend and shut your mouth because that movie was awesome. Is that the one where he's in it twins. twice? He's twins. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. One one who is absolutely deranged and and one who's slick. Yeah. Don't watch This Is War. That's not a good way to sell Tom Hardy. Uh also watch This Is War. That's a that's a that's it's a, a really fine solid, movie. But if you really want to flick. All right, it's okay. It's it's soft. it's funny. Like it, it's it's this a funny movie. Spoon. I just you know. It's Chris I, Pine and I, Tom Hardy. I actually enjoy that movie. Yeah, oh, all right. It's a, that movie's flick. not that bad. Surprise, surprise. CJ's on the end of this one. <laughs> I don't go into a movie about the two men vying for one woman thinking, I think I'm going to learn something from this. No. No, no, no. no. I just, just like, just oh, I don't know. No, but it was like a really stupidity. cool premise that the two men vying for the one woman are, are both like spies. Spies. Yeah, that was kind of that was a cool premise is it the other the other couple things. And I know this started about a Capone trailer, but I I do want to also. Well, but then CJ had to say something stupid. (laughs) Right. Uh, Tom Hardy (laughs) also has he has like an outlaw biker flick um, coming up. And I I know I know I said one of the oh, a Navy SEAL story. And I think that is by the guy that wrote American Sniper. Oh, okay. I'm down for that. Possibly one of those two, I believe, is is by by the guy that wrote American Sniper. So um lots of cool stuff coming from Tom Hardy to Capone movies, maybe. I look right. if it's VOD May twelfth, uh, I'll find a way to watch it. Um because Tom Hardy. Like yeah. I it, it can't be That's all another movie that we watched. We watched Inception because she's never seen it. Oh, oh that's right. blasphemy! Yeah. That is so. Well, she's seen it now. She's did we all dead. have Inception in our in our in our on our list? Yes, it was like best of the decade. I yeah. think we yeah, all had yeah, Inception. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we watched Inception. She really enjoyed it. I would hope so. It's Inception. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> well, it was funny that we were talking about Tom Hardy, and now that we're we're talking about Chris Nolan. How did you get her to watch it? Were you like, did you did you like we have to watch Inception, or did you did you say, um, did you like say something clever? Did you Inception we her were, to watch we Inception? Were, she suggested you watch Inception. <laughs> we were talking. No, I did not. I did not <laughs> incept her to watch Inception. We were talking about something else. Would have been a lot cooler if you did. I know, right? What you had all about? the tools. It teaches you how to do it. We were talking about something else, and oh, we were talking about filmmakers. She said, "I think we should pick a filmmaker and watch like two or three movies from them today." And I said, "Okay, what are the filmmakers we have to choose from?" She's like, "Well, who do you think?" I Wait, said, "I think Chris Nolan." After <laughs> she so said that, I won. <laughs> how long did it take for your erection to go down? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, I if it was more than four literally... hours, did you consult a physician? <laughs> I would hope so. I just imagined your wife saying that too. You're just like, oh, dear God, I've been waiting for that my entire life. Oh, man. I'm, I, I, Thank I, God we're going to be sitting. I, yeah, well, you know, well, my wife is, is clearly perfect for me. It's funny that we're talking about Chris Nolan and, and Tom Hardy. Uh, one of the weird things that I found uh, around the internet, uh, because people are just posting random behind the scenes stuff now. So like, there's footage of uh, Willem Dafoe uh, visiting the set of Spider-Man 2, uh, doing the Doc Ock scene where he's, you know, everything's falling apart. And he's like, it's OK. He's doing the demonstration. 
But the best thing that I found that's related to what we just talked about is... I didn't is, see that video. Can oh, you I will, send that I will, shit to me? I will send that to you. It, How did you not send it to me when thought, you immediately saw I, it? I thought you saw it. I'll be honest. You, you can't just assume shit like that. Send it to me. All right. I want to do... Uh, Listen, I, I've 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 waited a lot enough to bring up this topic, so this way we can all groan and throw things at me, and that'd be fine. But to bring up the elephant in the room. I've been watching some Quibi. Oh fuck you! <laughs> You've been watching Quibi because it's free with T-Mobile. It is. It's. I'm pretty sure I saw an ad somewhere. It's free saying, for three months for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure T-Mobile did something special. I oh. saw an ad with them and T-Mobile. I was unaware of that. I don't know. Fucking Google it. I just saw an ad and fuck Quibi. So Josh, the reason I'm bringing it up is I think you downloaded Quibi. You, yeah, you, you I, tried it out. I did. I, I wanted I wanted to watch Punk and I wanted to watch the the uh, Hemsworth most dangerous game thing, oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And how's that going? Uh, Ten minutes at a time there, Josh. No, I didn't watch that yet. I like Punk, though. Punk is fun. Yeah, it's good in like ten minute pieces. Um, yeah, and I, you know, I, and I'm not gonna have to watch it on my like I'm gonna watch it on the iPad, and I have an iPad Pro coming next week, so I'll be watching Ooh. it on that. Yes, indeed. Well, I, I think but the other they part- have new stuff. They like they just keep piling content on. Yeah, they just won't stop releasing shit. So fine. If you're just gonna give me a ton of content, then I'll I'll watch it, and yep. if it's cool, then I'll keep. You know, I like. I uh, I'm not watching the one with ads like it'll I'll pay eight bucks if it's awesome. But I mean, you know, because look, I'm not going to Starbucks twice a day. Yeah. Right now. So I'm saving a bajillion dollars. Well, that was the thing. I, you know, I took some time to watch a few things on Quibi. But the, the, the problem is it really didn't. It didn't wow me. I do like the fact that switching between vertical really? and horizontal. It didn't wow you? Uh, it's, this, this is a terrible concept. No fucking way. No. No. It's not a terrible concept. A right. Terrible. And oh, and the the UI is really cool. Yes. The switching back and um, forth between horizontal and vertical, A is seamless, and B does actually give you some different things. The but show it's- where Usher's brothers do the dance thing, like the 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 the, te- the dance team face off things, that could have been done better. Yeah. Um I watched two episodes of that and I thought this is okay, but like do better. Um, but it's not, I don't know. It's, it's not as shitty as I thought it would be. Some of the stuff I'm like, "Eh, I don't no interest, no interest, no interest. But, um, you know what, man, if they actually like, if they did more cooking stuff, Mm -hmm. if they did, um, more content with, uh, either sports and or vehicles. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, Josh. Are you aware of, uh, uh, hyperdrive, Elba, Elba hyperdrive on Netflix, where Elba. they do this whole like. So you know, I saw you're, you're right course. On, yes, and that's exactly what uh, Elba versus Block is, Brian. It is a racing obstacle course. Really, with Idris Elba? Yes. Oh shit! I'm gonna have to freaking download Quibi. <laughs> right. Hyperdrive it's exactly was produced that. by Charlie's Theron. It's the 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 tagline for that is insane stunts, cars, and superstars. It's a challenge, but someone's got to win it. Why Elba? Why, why don't why they not get Edris Vin Elba? Diesel? Why not Edris Elba? Why not Vin Diesel? Because you know. he's doing shitty movies. At least Elba's got like a career. Yeah, but he's awesome. And Vin Diesel can't drive stick. Yeah, but wait, but really? Like in real Dominic. life? Yeah, he can't drive stick. The you mean you don't just like slam it into like seventeenth <laughs> gear? No. While no. you're chasing after you a chain, you and about certainly the, don't. You about don't. About the Spider-Man you swing it. off of a fucking cliff. That's not how nope. it works. Nope. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. No. He. Uh, the rumor is he cannot drive stick. That's hilarious. What I've seen has never been refuted. So, uh, n- no. He's a non-stick driving motherfucker. Is who he is. I still love him. Still gonna watch all his movies. Did you, did you watch was, Bloodshot? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fine. Totally fine with Bloodshot. No issues with Bloodshot. Well, well, I mean, I was fine with it too. I had just had some some major issues. What? It was okay. So that's not Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, it's it fine. Yeah, it, was it was movie. Okay. It had it had it had issues. Uh, it was better than movie. It was movie. <laughs> it was better than movie. It it it, it was movie. It was, I'd give it, I'd give it a six out of 10. It was, yeah, movie. I think that's fair. it was, it was movie as a four. 
I, I think that's a fair, that's that's a fair assessment. For me, it, it was movie. It was four. It was movie. Out of, out of 10, I would give it a That's four. just, now you're just, you're being. Let's talk a crazy talk. It was movie. You're being a curmudgeons. Back to Quibi real quick. Basically, bottom line. No, don't you see how badly I don't want to talk about this <laughs> bullshit. Bottom line was. Uh, uh, you're going to have to give it a try. You're going to have to give it a try, Brian. I, like, Here, I'll download it right now. So here's the other part. So we can they, add more shit they to the realized, list of shit I won't They watch. realized that, I again, they launched at the worst time for be a mobile-only focused platform. And they have officially announced that they are developing an app for TVs. I mean, did they, though? Because I, yes. I, I, see, I see a ton of people sitting on their sofas next to each other not looking at each other or talking. <laughs> you know what can't I'm saying? Can like, just airplay it from my phone to my No, phone? you can't. You can't airplay it. Oh, this is even stupider, it. and I'm regretting no, downloading yeah, there's, it. Oh, there's no – there's no, I, that, I, 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 was, I was pissed off about that, too. There's no airplay. No airplay. That's and it's so not – like, I can't – it's not accessible on my iMac, my MacBook, right? So, again, yeah. mobile only, iPad or iPhone. I even tried spoofing it a couple of times, but like, I know how to trick it. Nope. Not going down. Yeah. So. It's like, it's, it's the same, same rules as uh NFL, like broadcasting. Right. NFL exactly. Games. Yes, yes, yes. Like it'll, it'll, if you airplay it, it's like audio. I, I didn't even yep. try. With exactly. Quibi. It's just like, well, fuck off. Um, I do think shows like Punked worked out really well for it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like. I, and Chance I, the Rapper does a good job. Yeah, he does a good job. And, and while I liked the premise of Dismantled, uh, just the fact that it's less than 10 minutes, I really can't get invested in it. Like every time I'm like, oh, this is going to be all right. It's already over. I, I haven't because of uh, like Anthony would be the only reason for me to watch it. And he's on for a minute, like right. literally a minute worth of screen time. The guests right. have, have no time. Just like Brian Voltaggio is on it from Top Chef for like 40 seconds. Like that's a good that's uh, a high quality chef. Yeah, but that's the lesser Voltaggio. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He's Seriously. on all. He's on All Stars right now, so I don't know. I'm I, watching Top fine, Chef All Stars. So but we'll Michael Voltaggio is the he's the real. Yes, he's he's the, he's real, the real deal. deal. But the 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 big problem for me is the pricing is not compelling. I don't think I'll hang on to it. Just like with Apple TV Plus, there's a couple shows on there that I really like, but I, I like I'm not your pricing model. I, I, if there was an ad free ver- or an ad version of this. I would do it if it's like, hey, it's free, but you have to watch ads. I'll do it. But if it starts like with you have to you, you get ads and you have to give us five dollars. I'm like, well, fuck you. If I'm giving you any kind of money, I should not have to watch an ad. What did I watch on Apple TV? Plus? I ended up really liking that Sam Jackson. Movie. Oh, yeah. The banker. Yeah, I did. I really liked with Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie and uh, Nicholas Holt, right? Yes. And Nicholas Holt. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was. I thought it was. I thought it was done very well. OK. I've downloaded Quibi. <laughs> hey, all right. Um, I'm going to regret this, but Elba versus the Block is the first thing that's on here. Yeah, man. They're 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 telling their stuff. Oh, excuse me while I Yeah, no, watch this in front I'll, of Josh. I'll, yeah. So you're good. it's only hey, let's it's just only take a quick minutes. Quibi. Yeah, let's so take it's a quick only 10 Quibi. Minutes. You guys just... can hang out for 10 minutes, right? Talk about yourselves. Well, the first uh, episode is only seven. So other than the banker, I started watching – what did I start watching? Something else that was on I there. did – I watched an episode of Truth Be Told. It was good. But again, I need to pay yeah. attention to that. And yes. I'm, I just don't have – I don't have the no. – oh, Laura really wants to watch Defending Jacob, which is uh, Chris Evans. Mm. We have upcoming. Yeah, I'm really excited for that one. I, now, listen, starting uh, when everybody's listening, starting yeah. yesterday or, or last Sunday – um, ESPN starts the first two episodes of its 10 part Michael Jordan series mm. um, called the last Stand. I'll say this while you're looking up the title Josh if you're gonna venture into any Apple TV plus stuff I would certainly add for all mankind to your list it's the last dance um, save the last dance no it's called the last dance it is it is not are you uh, sure it's not the one it's not the... a Julia Stiles movie <laughs> are you sure yeah, I'm positive. Um, it's a ten part series. Uh, it's uh, yes, it's Michael Jordan. It's the Michael Jordan story. It is one of those championships when he went and fought with the the the, the Looney Tunes? Because if not, we're wasting an episode of television. It needs to be on there. I don't even know what a Space Jam is, but they need to include it. It's the uh... Hey guys, I, I'm back. I was just watching uh, some bullshit on this bullshit app. Ryan, you haven't changed. Certainly good, hope not. Good to know. Good to know. Just 
I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a bow on it. So I I'm gonna correct what I said. The Last Dance focuses on the 1997-98 season, which would have been Michael Jordan's last championship, the last of the second three peat. Um, it's I oh, mean, you're talking sports. Maybe I should do another quibby. Michael <laughs> Jordan. I mean, this no, that's is not, that, that's not sports. That's Michael Jordan. Uh, dude's an icon. It shouldn't. It's not. That's not a sports thing. Right. Everybody knows Jordan. And There's a Quibi on Michael Jordan on, on, on the replay ESPN, the man who made Michael Jordan. It's five minutes long. A Quibi was 10 minutes. Oh, this one's <laughs> that seven. Quibi's 10 minutes or less. It's a range. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, how this? was your way to the DMV? Oh, it wasn't bad. It was about a Quibi. Stop being so salty. Look, I'm I, salty. This is a lot of the content, not for me, but some of it is. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and put more on there. That's the thing. That's the one thing I really have to give to Quibi. They came out and it's like, here's oh, a, here's a shit ton of stuff. It's are, not all going to be for you and we don't care. Just Here is content. a ton of stuff. Dumping content on But how Look, is the that, most dangerous game? Because I, I, I that he hasn't is. hasn't watched it yet. Where are you oh, not listening? Yeah, no, no I haven't. Sorry, I, 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 because, again, I need to be able to pay attention. But right. this, uh, the trailer that I saw for the Anna Kendrick show upcoming, I, I want to watch. It's called the doll. It's called the doll. It's called dummy. Dummy. It's called dummy. Yes. Uh, you should. Well, watch. now that I have it, I'll watch it because it's watch Anna. The trailer. Watch a trailer. I've seen the trailer. It looks funny because Anna Kendrick. It, it, yeah, Anna Kendrick. That's I'm, I'm good with that. I'm on board. I wasn't going to download Quibi. You guys convinced me to download Quibi. So now that I have it, I might as well watch that. I, I would also like to, to note that we are not sponsored by or affiliated or get any money whatsoever from Quibi. But if we do get money, you'll have to listen to an ad before you actually receive said money. <laughs> and and you have to watch it vertically. I don't know how you watch an ad vertically on a podcast, but that's how you have to do it. The the documentary You Ain't Got These about sneaker culture. Yeah. I'm gonna watch that. Yep. I'm going to watch that. Too. I saw that. I was like, you know, after the Jeff Goldblum episode, I'm actually kind of interested. Absolutely. And actually, you guys both put me on to that Jeff Goldblum episode. Uh, so, uh, so good. So good. So this, Adidas. this <laughs> is a, a Quibi series called you ain't got these um and it's about sneaker culture so like i mean i don't and you know what I'm, i've learned more more about it over the past uh year or so uh one of these dudes uh one of my guys actually on my team total sneaker head and uh like when i when i see a pair like somebody will post a pair online and they don't They'll post it on social media, but they won't say what it is. And I sent him a picture. He's like, oh, that's this off white, blah, blah, blah. He's like, dude, dude, those are probably like 350, 400 bucks. And I'm like, but they're they're Nikes, right? <laughs> right. He's like, dude, you can't find them anywhere. And this and that. I'm just like, I don't get it. So I started looking at like, you know, you go to like stockx.com and and it's, you know, a whole there's a whole there's market. There's a whole culture, yeah. Of people bidding on shoes like used like I mean if look if you put your foot in that one time I don't want it <laughs> right that is That's, words to live by and also a good way to know how to uh, not let Josh want my things <laughs> right. Gee, put your foot in it yeah okay, put my foot in it <laughs> but if you put it to your curb I will still co- I, I will still come pick it up I, I know you'll come you'll come pick it up. Um, no problem. With so that. look, I, I just I do think there is content that that is worthwhile, even though I spent a lot of time and still spent a lot of time shitting on the content that Quibi has available. I I have a lot will, of hope in here. There's a lot of that, hope in that, here. That, I've been spending more time watching hope than anything on Quibi, but <laughs> I will spend some time this week watching Quibi and we'll report back on my thoughts and feelings. And if I still think it's bullshit, did I just get did we just get Brian to, to download Quibi, but not finish any of the Doctor Who? Did that just happen? I just I download. I, did I just sit here? Doctor Who is a last five hour commitment. Brian we broke down has, Brian to get Quibi, but not watch any Doctor Brian Who. Brian has been adamant that he will neither confirm nor deny his that progress is correct. on Doctor Who. I will who. not let you know how much progress I have or have not made. Your and father's making tremendous progress on Doctor Who. I know. Who. My father yeah, I'm, is I'm uh, on that. board. Not only, not only is Papa T making progress, telling us about it. But also, like, taking shots at Brian in our little group chat there. <laughs> like, I know I can always no, count on new. you two guys to respond. No, Wink. That's not new. Disappointed father. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I actually got to say that line to my kid the other- today. Today. 
I gave Lily an iced tea, like a like a like a Lipton iced tea, because she really wanted it and she needs the calories, so I'll take it. And uh, I I go into the other room. Gwen has taken it, and now the whole mouth around the nozzle kind of thing, and then realizes this isn't water, and goes ah, and then just spills the entire sixteen or or whatever freaking ounces of iced tea all over the kitchen table while Lily's just da, 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 da. and I came up I'm like hey that was your iced tea you were in charge of it your your sister grabbed it and spilled the entire thing she goes I know that sucks I'm like no that doesn't I'm mad at you like I'm I don't you know what I'm not mad I'm just disappointed you weren't paying attention and I walked away and I was like oh my god what did I just do what have <laughs> I become I don't you know, I don't. I don't even have to go down that road uh, at this point. We we've discussed uh, the the Josh Burns life lessons, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, we of, we, right. we have received some in our yeah. in our past. Yeah, but the kids the kids are getting them, and and Josh Burns' life lesson um, that I was trying to impart during the early part of quarantine was: kids, you can say or do really whatever the fuck you want, as long as, and I mean in life. As long as you are prepared for and or willing to endure the consequences of whatever you say or do, right? And those like th- these lessons are they they clearly didn't they didn't heed at least Christian not not <laughs> learning. He's let's call his his learning curve a little slower. Um cuz I I went in and I woke him up this morning cuz he was still asleep at 8 o'clock and everybody else had been up since like 6:30. Still sleeping at 8 a.m. I'm going to get up. And he's like, what? What? It's only 8 o'clock. Go leave me alone. And I'm like, no, dude, get up. Get up. Do your schoolwork. Do your chores. Let's go. And he's like, what are you talking about? You let me stay up till midnight. I'm like, let you. I don't give a shit what you do. I told you that already. Like, you decided to stay up till midnight playing Fortnite. Now you're tired. Decisions, consequences. Deal with it. Go. He's like, wait, what? I can just <laughs> do, and I'm like, I told you, my decisions has consequences. You, this is you <laughs> decided to stay awake, being giggledy bits, and playing Fortnite. Now you're sleepy face. That's your, that's a you problem. That is not a me problem. Get your ass out of bed. If I gotta say it again, I'm gonna start taking shit away. Again, decisions. You're deciding to stay sleep and piss me off. That's going to result in me taking shit away from you. Oh, grumble, grumble, grumble. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, I don't right. even look at, I don't even have to do the disappointed shit anymore. This is simple. You made the decision. This is actually guys, how life goes, right? You decide, right? You take, you take action or don't take action. And, and those, those actions or lack of actions have real life outcomes and consequences, Right. This is not a 12-year-old, 10-year-old problem. This is a rest-of-your-life type shit. We just happen to be in quarantine, and I happen to be here 24-7 watching your decisions and then <laughs> imposing consequences I am watching accordingly. your every fucking move. Look, they got to learn, learn sometime. They, they do. They, what they're learning this week is that you get food because I cook it. I'm not a short-order cook. You can request it, but don't be like ordering. You want to order takeout every day because I'm. That's not going to happen. The the lesson here is, Daddy decides, and you either like it or don't eat. I don't care. Figure it out. This has been a life lesson with Joshua Burns. I I impart life lessons on my dog as well. <laughs> Those life lessons being, you know, stay. <laughs> um, you know, uh, no, that's not food. Um, and uh. You know who's a good boy? Don't hump that. So, <laughs> stop who's a that. good boy? That's that is a good. <laughs> boy. Who's a good? I know, boy? Right? That's a good. That's a good lesson for and again. I think same thing with 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 Josh's lessons applies throughout your entire life. Yeah, exactly. Who's your good you should boy? always know. Always know you who's a good know boy. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Why does he keep asking me who's a good boy? But he never tells me <laughs> I'm a good boy. <laughs> no, see, I I'm I'm the one who does say. Who's a, Who's a good boy? boy. You That's right. Boy. You're a good boy. Yeah, I oh, that's what I do. So you do yeah. tell him. I do, I, I yeah. do tell him. He needs to know. <laughs> when I don't answer the question, that's when he gets worried. You know what? What? Quibi is a shitting app. It's oh, yeah. Not. 
No, it it's is. a perfect. Listen, no, it's a perfect, if you're taking a frequent seven, ten minute shit, it's a you seven. Got, it's a six it's minute a, shit. It's it is a. I, I it give is a you. Good yeah, toilet. all right. Maybe a six minute shit, but like, like an episode of Punk while you're on the toilet. Yep. Seven minutes, six minutes. I've yet to see ten minutes. Yeah, this is the perfect app for me to watch on the John. Here you go. I, I'll give you my fucking review next week. <laughs> All right, well, listeners, again, just kind of relaxing this week, just just kind of catching up uh, the the three of us because it's, it's been a while since we uh, we've been Ugh. together. So uh, next week we are going to do a movie review. We are going to be reviewing the 2019 version of Charlie's Angels, and I and I don't know how I feel about that, but it's happening. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. However, you find your movies. Uh, and if you have any insights or questions or things that you want to share about it, why don't you do me a favor? Text us 484-373-4119 or go ahead and find us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for just uh, letting us uh, be in your life right now and kind of shooting the breeze with you. Hope it was like listening to a couple of friends and we will talk to you next week. Well, welcome to the club because you are back on a nerd. 